Yo guys, what's going on? In today's video, I'm going to be giving you five tips on how to get four A stars at A level like myself. As you may be aware, on the 17th of August was A level results day, and I myself got four A stars in maths, chemistry, physics, and photography. I've just been accepted into London Metropolitan to do zoology. Now, as you can see, there we are, 131st. Worked hard to get into London Metropolitan. Now you may be thinking, yeah, like, what is zoology? Yeah? Zoology is a very demanding course. It's a very, only the very smart few do zoology. You need to learn a lot about animals. It's very demanding. It's all you people doing law, yeah? You ain't seen nothing yet. Zoology is the future. Working at, hopefully, in the London Zoo. All of you out there can't be as smart as me. But I'm going to be sharing you, lucky lot, my five tips on how to get four A stars at A level. How many tips? Five. How many? Five. Um, know your revision method. Like you need to find out kind of early on or like halfway through the year what type of method suits you. So that could be flashcards, that could be mind maps, it could be essay plans. I myself kind of prefer the old simple essay plan right here, you know. Got my highlighters, got my points pretty straightforward. I think like when you go to A level, like the tips you kind of, things you might have done at GCSE kind of like don't always apply. So I did flash at GCSE, didn't work at what A level. So yeah, essay plans are the way forward. <laughs> Tip number two, don't leave the revision till the last minute. Now I myself was an A star student, yeah, I studied all the way flipping in August last year before I even knew it was going to happen in A2. But all you people out there are probably studying at what? May, that, that last half term, that last like intricate before the real exams, like what are you doing? You need to be studying from August, before the school year even starts here, yeah, that's when you need to be studying. Before you even know what you're going to study, you need to be studying. That's how you're going to get an A star. What you say? I say whoever threw that paper, your mom's a hoe. Tip number three. Set yourself realistic goals that you know you can achieve. So, for example, at GCC, you might have got 10 A stars, 11 A stars, get to A level, it's a whole different ball game. Set goals that you know that yourself you can achieve. For example, 4 Ds, achievable. 4 Es, you can also achieve. I myself aim for 4 Us. Look what happened here. What are you doing in my swamp? What are you doing in my swamp? Uh, tip number four. Don't pick what your friends pick. You've got to be your own person. So, for example, all 23 of my friends want me to pick hair, beauty, textiles and fashion, and media. I said no, because that ain't me. That, 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 that ain't me. I picked photography, chemistry, maths, and physics, all just to study zoology. Oh, um, fucking nonsense. There you are. Tip number five. It's exercise. I myself every day for the past two years, get up at 3am, get a blood pumping, you know, I'm at the park across the street, running 60 kilometers in under five minutes. Got myself four A stars. You don't do that, you end up like this guy over here. Four U's to his name. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> My friend over there with four E's or a guy behind the camera with four D's. Exercise equals success, which equals London Metropolitan University, which equals zoology, which equals a career in London Zoo. And there you have it, my five tips to get a 4A stars to study zoology at London Metropolitan University.
I'm dead. <laughs> 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 <laughs>